Here is a simple example of a design you can create with your DecoLite software. All images are processed via the Corel Draw link. Once sized and adjusted in Corel Draw, select the Wilcom icon to take you to the digitizing mode. Here are three simple shape tools. A column tool which creates columns of stitching that vary in width and turn around a curve. Ideal for the waves at the bottom of the logo and the lettering. The blocks of colour at the top could also be created with this tool, but I visualise them to have one stitch angle and can be easily created with the closed shape tool, which I refer to as a perimeter tool, as that is how you create the shape. The only other thing you need to know is that left clicks of the mouse create angles and right clicks create curves. Always use as few clicks as possible to make your shapes. All objects slash shapes will be created in a satin stitch. These tools are sufficient to create this logo in a few minutes. Select the tool, colour and stitch type. With the column tool, each click of the mouse needs a corresponding click on the other side of the column. The first and last pair of clicks can be either right or left clicks. You will need to increase the number of nodes as the curve becomes tighter. The reshape tool allows you to adjust the shape after it has been created. The nodes can be moved by selecting and dragging or deleted using the delete key on the keyboard. To add a node, click on the vector line. Remember left clicks are angles and right clicks are curves. Notice the red rings in the video are indicating left clicks and the blue rings are indicating right clicks. With the column tool, it's OK to have a left click on one side of the column and a right click on the other. In this level of the software, to avoid a thread trim, I'll create a travel run to the vertical column of the letter T as I want this part of the design to stitch before the crossbar. Instead of creating the curved ends of the crossbar as I digitize, I've created a straight horizontal column then use the reshape tool to pull the object to match the artwork.
Now to the top shapes with the closed shape tool. Simply click around the edge of the shape, left or right clicking depending on whether you require a curve or an angle. This is a self-closing tool and it is recommended not to close the, the object by making the last click on top of the first click in the shape. Make the last click near the end and the enter key will close the shape. The shape and stitch angle can be altered with the reshape tool, the keyboard shortcut being the letter H. Take the guesswork out of the three quality properties, underlay, pull compensation and stitch spacing using the Auto Fabric Assistant. Select all of the objects in the design and then choose your fabric. 